Hello again, my name is Relax and Panic. And I am Most Evil Life Form. And today we are finally <laughs> reacting to season 5, episode 1. It is called Welcome to Haven. If I uh, read that correctly, I might be wrong, but I think it was something like that. I will finally see that we have a lot shorter pre-discussions before the episode because he is so excited. <laughs> yeah, we no time for discussion. I have to watch the next episode. <laughs> That's it. Um, I mean, we discussed... I think more neither everything already on the uh, last um, season, yep. the finale, and in some of the character shorts a little bit as well. So I think we are pretty clear where we will start. Um, interesting will be now new intro, or in this case, it is episode one. It will be very likely new no, outro. In, no intro, but outro. <laughs> yes, um, I will. Uh, as always, try to record it this time in case it gets blocked due to the outro. I will have to cut it. You know what I mean? I know what you okay. mean. Okay. And as always, we will very likely discuss afterwards uh, in case I'm able to um, emit any kind of logical <laughs> words. <laughs> so, here we go. The first blind reaction. On Ruby. Oh, well, it will be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So excited. The city of Mistral. Hey, crew. Uh, it's about time. That's Snora. Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and, you know, all those people and monsters that tried to murder us. He's really walking like we a crow. We were fine. Only one of us almost died. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> so how much farther to Haven Academy? We're almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. Way up. It looks like huge mountain, you know? It's a mm. waterfall. Awesome. Artificial one. Yeah. That's certainly something. Oh my gosh, look at all the weapons! <laughs> here will sell you just about anything. There we are, yeah. Whether they should or not. Ah. They Eddie. really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher <laughs> up you go, Heart. the nicer it gets. Oh. And we nice. are going up! Oh, back to Weiss. I like that they did not have moving pictures, but instead mm -hmm. still drawn. Mm -hmm. Looked really good. Farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcasts this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Hey, hmm. May, May, we're a small passenger flight and our Huntress is down. We aren't equipped to deal with this. Oh, man. Huntress The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline. Get him off us! If anyone can hear this. We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Oh. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. Hmm. Will she jump off or what? I don't think so. That's a harsh one. Hey, that looks a lot. Yeah. Very Asian. Made 
<laughs> Is he waiting for something? I'm not sure. Hello? Hello? Maybe try louder? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. No, this isn't right. Come on. Run? Wait for us! Come on. Was it? Ah, come on, I, I heard run. Maybe I'll run, but. Get ready. <laughs> no, we're like a surprise party or stuff like that, you know, and he's. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, cowardly lion. Yeah. Professor Lionheart? <laughs> Crow! For crying out loud, nearly scared me half to death! Only half. Me? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart at your Leonardo. Service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children already know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable! Total Ooh. garbage! We can't let them get away with this. I think you're right there. The well, at least you two Damn, you're winning there. <laughs> Guys. Everything's going to be okay. Hmm. Oh, there's a guard. Mm -hmm. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's all right. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. So much about the police we talked about yeah. earlier. In a row. No, he has guards. You need better security. Uh, hello, Ilya. Please, I, I just need to talk. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Like, Corsican Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. They t talked about how disappointed they yes, were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the fawn is here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Your plan isn't going to work, Blake. Please, just leave the menagerie before it's too late. You're going to have to make me. I know. Oh, crap. So she knows something's going to happen. Damn. That Adam is around. I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless, even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon, but since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, and Lysian knights attacking citizens. And then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. 
With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Well, Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. And on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Oh, she's Why trying to intervene. Why is so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> the four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? Hmm. The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. Hmm. Okay, that's new. Spring is the problem. What happened to her? She was determined at first when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She ran, abandoned her training, everyone. That was over a decade ago. Ooh. There's no telling where she could be now. I know. At least I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years... <laughs> He's where? overjoyous. I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwind tribe. Raven. <laughs> Yang's mom? Yeah. That's right. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Raven's managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. A few weeks? right leo just copied it right me. my sister has the spring maiden and i know where she is we need to go as soon as possible and perhaps you didn't hear me this kingdom is in shambles as soon as possible does not mean tomorrow it means as soon as i can convince the rest of the council that i need huntsmen more than they do Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah! <laughs> Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible, but Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched. And I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this, and it needs to be perfect.
You know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. So he's Perhaps not telling you. Right. But he's not. I'm doing the very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leah. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. <laughs> this is a send button. Mm, I don't like. I don't like how that went. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. I mean, he was talking to Walt, you know? Yeah, he just needs time. <laughs> yeah. So now they have. Walt has the information where the maiden is. That's really crappy. So, what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. I got myself as Waltz has on, on Leo, so that he be intimidating him somehow. Excuse me. So, okay, this was before the scene. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. Um, I'm supposed to tell you, I'd like my cane back. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Oz. Just, Just right. right. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, it's not the typical one. Young to be drinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, water. It's hot out. Oh, sure. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress, and a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. Seriously. <laughs> not too bulky. Not too lean. You're... Just right. Yep. Just <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm good. We are all waiting for it. And your hair. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, well. Goodbye. There goes the team. <laughs> well, anger problems. What the... <laughs> he has some very interesting semblance of rubber. <laughs> this was I right. don't know. Maybe it was just comedic. Um, this one's on the house. <laughs> okay. He's been driving me crazy. Hmm. They're not perfect. Not a artificial hand. No, no, so, but maybe a stylist. Thanks. And I'm uh, looking for someone. Hmm. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, uh, well, Ray. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're a world of trouble. So I hear. As she's going after her mother, after all. Mm -hmm. Hey, girly. Seriously, this isn't over. 
I heard you're looking for someone. Uh, he's a member of the tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, whoever you are. Lionheart? I think it might be Oz. Or the family of Pyrrha. We discussed that might be Oz. Mm -hmm. Hey, Oz. Oz. <laughs> Can I help you? Um, yeah. Is there a ruby rose here? Why? Ooh, they are protective. Well, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. <laughs> <laughs> I found him. What is going on out there? Can a girl read her comics in peace? <laughs> You get drunk again? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you have silver eyes. Nice. The first thing he says to her. Who are you? <laughs> uh, well, my name is Oscar Pine. You probably know me Pine as Pin. Professor Ozpin. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> <laughs> what the? F <laughs> He's completely gone. Oh! It <laughs> the cape gets ridiculously longer. Versus hero fights. As oh, always. again. Again against Mercury. No emeralds? No cinder? No, no we have seen cinder. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice one. Okay. So. So many Interesting things. outro. <laughs> nice one. Well, though we learn that this has not necessarily something to do with what will happen in yes, the series. Yes, indeed. So. Um, but I uh, will watch it the next times as well. Um, if I remember the other intros, there was often, not always, but often like uh, some spoilers in like, um, as example, in season three, um, the first one when they had the ring that were of people that were flying down the third mm -hmm. time that was ripped out of the ring was Pyrrha. Mm. And uh, everyone was in, in the end when they were sitting the four, Three of them had the head down, which was everyone except for Ruby, which was like everyone lost in some kind of way, but she was the only one still willing to go on. Which is not a huge spoiler, but there are some yeah, things you can you mean, you mean see already. Yeah, some light hints. Um, yeah, but it is a very active music this time, and I was not able to really understand the no. lyrics. It was too too much. I think happening if it's also that. if you're not native, it's it's sometimes yeah. harder, especially with a lot if it's very loud music, yeah. loud guitar, and loud fast. drums, yeah, and fast as well. Then yeah. it's not that easy to catch every lyric. So there. let's go for the more important stuff. Oh, so much happened. Um, so for me, what the most interesting thing is then that she uh, that Yang goes after Raven yes. first, and then the yes. sentence the sentence she said, "Okay, you will be in so much trouble, and I get you." Is, is I think still addressed to Ruby. Still addressed to Ruby, I guess so as well. Um, 
So, possibly the person she punched seems, I guess he's a member of the of the Yeah, uh, the bandits, bandits, I guess so too. It and would make sense. Like, he's annoying and he drinks, it's a typical thing, and the way he acted and the way he looks, it's yeah. like very, very bandit-like. Um, then we had this very long, very large scene with uh, Leo. Yeah, with... Uh... Ah, the, the whole scene hurt. Uh, not in the, it was well done. I mean, in the meaning of that we know things that those who were with him there, who, what Crow and, and Ruby and everyone else doesn't know. So we knew that he talked to Watts. Yeah, I mean, the, the, when Watts said, you, we need to work on your improvisation yeah. skills, it was still pretty decent. It was very reasonable yeah. what he what he explained. Um, and I agree on many points. I mean, the huntsmen have to defend the kingdom. Mm. They have to fight against the Grimm. So he cannot have him at the school, even if he lost mm. some of him already. This also means that the council is completely in the dark about the maiden stuff yeah. and everything, yeah. which is there really is only a limited amount of people knowing what was yeah. going on. What is new is the uh, vaults. That was completely new, so the relics are hidden in vaults. And that only the spring maidens can unlock the, it. Only only the the one maiden. So yeah. the spring la maiden can unlock the vault of knowledge, which is interesting. Um, choice is unlocked by the fall maiden, which by now is uh, So Cinder. we know uh, a choice was uh, Beacon. In, yeah, Beacon was and a choice. And probably still in Beacon Possibly. eventually. And this means also that the, the relic, relic is, is not the cane or anything. Yeah. If it's just a vault, and this is also why uh, Salem said to uh, said to Cinder, continue looking for it. It still has to be there because yeah. she is the only one who can open it. But the question is, is it? I mean, they were built to defend the relics, so that means it has to be below or inside of uh, of the tower, or it could be also hidden in plain sight. The typical like, okay, where would you look? You would never. There is also not said what shape or form a vault yes. should have, so... Can be anything, but... Yeah. So, uh, f when it comes to that, I would guess behind the waterfall. In case of this city here. Because it is a waterfall. Something has to be hidden behind the waterfall. <laughs> it has to be. Um, so, but, but Leo, um, he had arguments on his side. I agree with him there that the huntsmen have to be outside of the city to defend the kingdom if... It is as harsh as he states um, that the Grimm are really, if. really kicking. Sure, Watts will very likely um, approve with this. So less huntsmen there, he has better chances of doing whatever he wants to do in the city. Or the, the deal with, Li uh, with Lionheart is that they actually somehow already oh, raided and already raided that. And the deal is that they will like not kill everyone if Lionheart works mm -hmm. for them. That's something I guess. I mean... It didn't seem as though they, uh, as though Leo works for him out of free choice. I guess it is something he has. So maybe he has just, I mean, he works for Salem. Mm. So she has, as far as we know, the, the ability to control the Grimm at least to some extent. To extent, yeah. So um, uh, maybe it is like this. Uh, I will hold back the Grimm on your kingdom if you do what I say. Yeah. Maybe that's it. That would be like what's closest or he did something which, uh, like, he lost, maybe, the, the relic. But I don't think it's yeah. unlikely. It, it's probably also already happened that they, they just didn't put up the relic uh, of the... That this is what confuses me. If the relic is only, or the vault, is just uh, openable by the spring maiden... Uh, or the maidens, not just the spring yeah. maiden, but the maiden, by the maidens, why, why are not, like, you know, the, the vaults could be anywhere. Yes. Somewhere. Yes. And the maidens are should be the one who are the in the academy and be protected. Yeah, yeah. that that is. A, I'm not sure if it was meant to be like that or if they just changed the story. But the story in the original was the academies are built to defend the the relics. relics. Right. So if now there is a vault which can be opened only by the specific maiden, then you don't need the academy there anymore. You just you. Yeah. It's more important to protect the maiden because if the vault yeah. is not openable by something else, then you need this maiden That'd to open there. it and and then why would you let i mean it's not just that okay the spring maiden ran away this was okay when he was telling the story i think it, it is unseeable i think it possible. is the one we've seen in in the outro with uh, cinder Maybe. together because it's the only person i didn't know so i guess she is possibly the spring maiden you will see but why would she be with cinder right away no no not, not with not with she was in the camp yeah. of raven 
There oh. was a camp of Raven, and they she stood against Cinder, so oh, like they are Cinder. fighting, mm. but not really were fighting. But it would be fitting together because Cinder is now another the fallen. Maiden. Yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, the um, but this it would make more sense to like okay, this, the maidens are more important than the vault. Exact uh, uh, the vault. It would be actually make more sense to hide the vault somewhere. Surrounded by Grim, maybe even uh, somewhere. It doesn't matter where. You yeah. can put it anywhere um, because if you leave like no hint, you can never find it. Yeah, that's the thing. And with, even if you find it, you cannot open it. Just yeah. So I I don't see that. Um. So maybe we'll learn a little bit more about that in the future. I guess. Maybe this um, is important, or they just like put it right. We're writing it in because they were not one hundred percent sure. I needed to give them a more like function because why. We we saw the story about how the how the maidens were created. Yes. And the relics were re were created by the gods. Already. And the maidens basically received their powers from a wizard. Yes. So, how is this? It's not. It's not about the the relics and the maidens don't go together at, uh, at the moment. The maidens are just able to open the vault. The vaults are created by are... people. But how is something created by people only not openable by people? This if is it is thing. created by a maiden. Maybe she, the maiden or the sorcerer did like only this one person soul can open it. Mm. So that's possibly. I don't think there is a direct connection between mm. the the maidens and the relics. That would be too much, you know. Then why? Nah. Yeah. So I think when they um, built the academies, it was said they built it to defend the relics. So I guess maybe at this time the walls were built as well, and those the one who did build possibly the king. This one which is. Named yeah. as very powerful. Maybe he had all the relics at this moment. We discussed this. Um, if he had all relics or even just some of them. Creation as example. He can just create a vault or four. Who can only be opened by those specific yeah. persons. And now we have also this alignment to actually one kingdom to have a certain relic. You remember yeah. we did that? And this is basically now now that the, the maidens are also. Yeah. We can see okay which relic is in... Which kingdom, most Possibly. likely, yeah. Uh, well, we know two by now. Yeah, so we know fall and spring. Exactly. So fall was choice and was in, in, ha uh, in, in Beacon. And in Haven Academy, we have uh, knowledge, which yeah. we already said is possibly the one that you need Good, most. Yeah. It helps you a lot and if you get knowledge. And we have winter and summer left, which where summer... This was confusing me. I would have thought winter is, con uh, is destruction. Well, but just because winter is like, okay, nothing yeah. is there. Uh, but in this case, summer is the destruction. destruction yeah. So, but uh, then, then vacuo is uh, destruction. destruction. Yeah, very likely. Yeah. I mean, they could still put the winter creation. maiden to vacuo and the summer and, maiden to Atlas. And we, but. Yeah, and we said uh, that uh, winter is creation, which would fit to Atlas, so we were not that far off. Yeah, there. that's true. That's true. Then the discussion was if they may have knowledge, maybe, which was the option mm. from my side because. The, the high tech that they have, yeah. the technology is knowledge as well, not only creation. But yeah, well, if it influences the society. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, well, Lionheart was acting very weird, and now we have us, uh, us in the, uh, back again in the, in um, the group. Lionheart, yes. there's one scene. So he has a scroll of crow. There we are again with oh. this. Here I have a scroll with information. I put it on the desks and I was like, oh no, not again, <laughs> not again. But you and didn't have the virus. Oh uh, well, but he he it. tipped in something and I think it was copy and yeah. uh, then close. Um, but we don't know what he copied to. Um, I still give him the shadow of the doubt. So he may have copied the content from the scroll of Crow yeah. to the desk, so to what? But he may as well have copied something from his desk to the scroll. So let's think, just Siri, um, he is not doing it on his own will, working for what mm -hmm. and with what? So what if he gave like a small hint to Crow, like, hey, uh, some informations on it or or even like your open letter to him like hey man i'm i'm uh, being pushed uh i don't help. i can yeah i cannot help you <laughs> but he's possibly clever enough to not shout out load so he's just seeing maybe it is happening maybe not mm -hmm. but what if a uh, crow opens it up and and it reads um uh, what's is here or one of salem's men is here and i'm being forced <laughs> to to commit to him to do what he wants um i will have to act this way do it on your own 
And I will act as though I don't know. You know what? Like, um, I, I like know a what you're, double game. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. But I somehow don't have the feeling. If he's really like scared that easily, he would also be scared to... To do something to like do that. To do something like that. On especially, the other hand, especially Leonardo. Yeah, but uh, the, the thing is also... Watts was listening all the time and you don't know what all what exactly he has control of. Yes. What if so he maybe he even something. yeah, he, he could even see maybe if there is a letter be written. Just an option. Um how much surveillance there actually is. We don't know that. However, there, it was a clear point that he did copy something. Yeah. So um it is one or the other way. So either he uh, but, I mean, what's no knows now where it is. Because so they, even it's if he for didn't sure copy that it. yeah, but it's for sure he copied the card or the map to what's what's. What's. Um Even if he hadn't, what's listened, so he will then come along mm. and say, "Now tell me where it is." Yeah. Even if he hadn't copied, so that what's knows now where the maiden is, and she's with Raven, which is interesting because that means that they will have to possibly confront Raven, and I'm. Pretty sure they well, know the that thing she's is, I, I, I was amused because, I mean, Bro and Raven were talking about this and he was actively asking her yes. for the maiden and she was complete. She was not even saying no. She was avoiding the question. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about exactly mm. that it was. You have someone very powerful on your side mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm not talking about Grim. I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Well, yeah. So that was, I mean, this was possibly for him the last point that proved it for yeah. him, that she was not denying it really that she was not com uh, which is interesting this this would mean that they don't lie to each other that they before they start to lie to each other uh they they don't say anything at all or mm. avoid it and the next in interesting thing is that uh Lionheart said that raven and crow are equally, equally matched yes yeah. that is interesting e because if, if it's if for example as you, as you said before, his semblance gives him an advantage. It is not applying to Raven. Oh, what? Well, or, or they balance each other yeah. out. But evenly match might mean by, by intelligence, but I think by fighting strength is what he meant. Yeah, but this and is part of it, I think. I, I really thought that maybe she is stronger. We have not seen much. She, no. she just had posing entrances well, until the she, moment. She has some sort of portal, which yes, is which her. Is cool. Probably her, sem her semblance. Yeah. Okay. So, but we don't know what those portals are actually. Are they just like, okay, connecting one point to another, uh, to different dimensions? <laughs> you, we don't know question that. question is yet. if she can take others with her. If, she, if she's able to transport even a large number of people, that would make her tribe incredibly yeah. powerful because she can be everywhere. ignore the, the defense of a city and go inside yeah. and destroy everyone from inside out. If she can transport others over this yeah. portal. Too, that would yeah. be... Um, really strong so um that's it for leo um then as you already said we have osbeck in um and we have a drunken crow a very drunken crow this, this was so the first time right yeah this is was as soon as all is back he's like Poof. yeah <laughs> back, true back because his... he, he doesn't have to care yeah, anymore it's yeah. us again he will do it he said <laughs> that's he, true. he would uh, take over the responsibility i found <laughs> him <laughs> completely it's like not, not just a victory in the sense of that he is yeah. back but also that finally i yeah. got rid of Uncle that Pro, are you drunk again maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was that was very that was entertaining um i like the fact that the others um when they opened the door so uh, Nora and Ren were immediately um, defensive, defensive and readying for fight as soon as this boy asked for Ruby. So they are, um, they learned from the past weeks that even a boy can be something else by mm. now. So they're worried uh, with, with reason. And um, I like the reactions like, yeah, well, you may know me as Ospin. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... This is where they left off right now. Well, that's yeah. not an easy thing to, to solo, swallow. No. And we haven't seen them much about the evil guys yet. So I'm excited for True. that. From what we've only seen the, the yeah. W, which was on the desk. We talked about the Blake scene yet. This yes. is a very important one. But it still strengthens my opinion about Ilya, that, yes. she, that she and Blake have some sort of friendship yep, been going on before so she came along to more and either to warn, warn her. her she that was a warning there was one please leave now something yeah is going and it to was happen. a polite one it was not yeah. even like a threatening warning in the sense of oh leave or we will kill you it was a 
please leave. I don't want to force you. And this would be what would happen. Yes. He doesn't want to fight her. So um, the, the White Fang is aware that they will um, uh, open up about what happened and try to... And that the scroll was not enough proof about what yes. they have found. So they know that they will go public. And I think that is the one thing that came through. They will then very soon force Blake to leave or yeah, they will. What Yeah, what, what will probably happen, they know what they plan, that they will go to the public and they will somehow discredit them in some way. Even though by, for example, Blake was part of the White Fang, that someone recorded her actions and that in they the will mm -hmm. dis discredit her like she was a thief too. She was part of that. And I'm now not she's... sure if that's enough. I mean... No, it... but this, is, this could be part of how, what, how they discredit them maybe. I think they will go for violence somehow. Uh, seeing seeing um, about um, talking about them in a bad way might be working on Blake and on Son. But yeah. uh, her father is a chieftain of Menagerie. He was the leader of the White Fang before. I'm pretty sure he was a he is a very very important person. I'm th pretty sure you cannot um, make him look bad so easily. Um, I think the new leader of the White Fang will become important. On yeah. this case, because yes. if this new leader of the White Fang, you know, we, we saw that like Cinder manipulated the public opinion, and true, uh, true. why not doing this in the same fashion and uh, for their own goals? Uh, well. <laughs> and the scene where Son and Gera completely agreeing. <laughs> <laughs> that was fitting. So you said that that was your theory already that he doesn't like you because he sees so much of himself in him. And it seems you're right. It was like it was really they were coming in the same way. They were saying the same thing. It was like ah crap, she's right. <laughs> <laughs> and and the mother was like, mm, <laughs> my boys, you know, both of them. Okay, yeah, yeah that that seems to be this way. I guess so. Ah crap. <laughs> so and here it starts again. The error of her being right. <laughs> So, we don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. So, um, I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, oh, there was one thing. Uh, Yang's arm was shaking. Uh, yeah, on her head. probably because the she was scared. Yeah. yeah, possibly. I mean, it was her first fight, mm -hmm. after, um, after all. Um, so traumatic press syndrome. Yeah, maybe there is still, PST. she's still not completely back. But that makes sense. I mean, completely agree there. And the Weiss, oh, we haven't talked about. So she mm. flew with, it, with this um, cargo, cargo ship. ship. And they couldn't help because the cargo ship is simply that, a cargo ship. Um, I thought that maybe she would turn it around and jump off or something to help. And I really have thought like that that would go against her, you know, like mm. um, uh, by doing so that then her father might find her again yeah. or anything like that. But they didn't go there. Although they still may. Maybe we we haven't seen. Could, could still happen, um, yeah. What I thought about here is um, we have seen that some of the stuff we've seen in the past, in the end of the last season, mm -hmm. um, came in again, yeah. but later on. Like the um, crow and Osprey yes. scene. Yeah. Um, someone mentioned in the comments that the timeline is not completely um, on, on one page there. Yeah. So it might very well be that what happened to a Weiss is something that is happening later on. And I thought, what if the Huntress, which is down on the ship, mm. is one of the others? Might very well be. So I will look out if this is happening or not. But just an idea, you know. Hmm. Um, but it shows uh, what we, uh, we already discussed, that the, the whole thing that happened in season three, which is already one season away, um, did shake the whole world. Everyone is scared by now. Yeah. So the Grimm are active everywhere now. Yeah. For, for the airship which went down, uh, uh, I also felt, okay, this is a part of... Um, Haven and and the whole country being attacked on several yes. areas and that they can't help uh, that they cannot receive help everywhere. Yeah. Uh, maybe part of that and maybe the other thing that what I would guess is that she later on hears hears about an airship where a huntress died mm. and that will like like give her a bad feeling. But no one came to help. She's like he said. Maybe uh, that probably others have heard the uh, rescue yeah, call to... Yeah, whatever his reason yeah. was, she had to decide there. Yeah. She could have forced him. There's no question. <laughs> uh, she, I mean, she paid him. She could have said, like, I pay you, uh, I pay you, you just uh, leave me out I here. Not, not to go there, but leave me out. I will mm. do it myself. She could have had this option, I think. Yeah. Um, but it is no easy choice, however you do it. Um, and seeing that there's a huntress down, you 
it is a huntress. It is not someone in training. So there was an experienced fighter. Yeah. What can you do as someone who is, without any question, really good, but not a real f full fledged huntress yet? Yeah. And we've seen the difference and when we've seen ship. crow fight. You know, he, he had a good argumentation. He was right. Yeah. And I think this is also why she didn't leave there because she thought she heard him and that she was uh, that he yeah. was right and. That they couldn't do a lot. I mean, the we don't know at the moment the the power levels to say so yeah. between the girls and and the really? normal hunter or huntress. Bro is already one step further, no question there, like us and stuff. But the normal huntresses are possibly still better than those four. Possibly, not well, sure. Well, we already saw one huntsman who died. Yeah, well, but we haven't seen In him fight, fight or anything. That's right. So yeah. he and. He fought against a Nuklavi or whatever this thing is named like. <laughs> or how he is pronounced. Yeah, that's the main problem. Um, <laughs> something like Nuklavi, I think. So, I think this is it this time, yep. right? So, uh, next episode, we will... Yeah, very likely... Um, Watch right now. Yeah, we will, we will. Uh, but we will learn possibly more about uh, the thing with Ospin now there, you know? With, uh, mm -hmm. with the others in the mix. And... Uh, more about... Blake and more about definitely Weiss about and Blake. more about everything. Well, definitely, I, I think also and Blake I, it will be. Why will take some time still, I guess. I think we will uh, see probably a scene of the villains to give yes. you, you like to yes. give a heads up what is happening there. Probably Hazel who is meeting with Adam. Yes. Because we have seen Blake's side, but I think in the next episode or the in the third one we will see. Okay, this is currently the status of the villains yes. and give them a bit more information on this yeah they are missing completely so yeah that's true so this is it for this time um as always if you want to see our next reaction go over to my patreon channel it should already be up there um and please like comment subscribe tell us your opinions and uh well that's it for today yep. my name is relax and panic and i am mostly life form goodbye and out bye